We're here tonight to say to the city of Louisville, Kentucky, that we, the black people of America, and we, the black people of this city, want all of our freedom. We want it here, and we want it now. WHAS News film there is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. talking in Louisville over 60 years ago, pushing for equal housing opportunities for Louisville's West End. The civil rights icon also has a history with the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. It's an overlap in history. You can see at the Ali Center as our Ian Hartwit saw it today. It's one of the Ali Center's busiest days of the year, and that's true despite all the snow on the ground. Hundreds of people came out for the free day here to see civil rights history passed down to the next generation. Dina Lee leads this YMCA field trip through the museum, teaching the kids about the harsh history of a segregated America. If you were us. Explaining only 60 years ago, the black and white girls at the counter wouldn't have been able to sit together. Martin Luther King fought for something and to be able to see so many kids of, a, of diverse backgrounds to come together and be able to play and learn together, it just celebrates what he stood for. As Muhammad Ali has just said, uh, we are all victims of the same system of oppression. With old clips of King Jr. next to Ali and screenings of his I Have a Dream speech, a panel of Louisville high schoolers discussed what the two civil rights figures would make of today. As part of the Muhammad Ali Center's Council of Students, Gabriel Rollins has participated for three years, meeting with other students and building on Ali's legacy. And seeing how you as a person are, are so small. Even if we are small, he says we're all capable of something bigger if we understand the past. And when we look at our history, we see what we did wrong we can improve on that. But when we don't see the history, we'll just keep making the same mistakes over and over. Rollins also shared his thoughts on recent efforts in Kentucky's legislature to target diversity, equity, and inclusion. It feels like those issues are not allowed to be talked about. It feels like what we went through isn't valid for schooling, and it hurts. That's why he hopes to keep the history at the Ali Center alive. In Louisville, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11, on your side. Applications for the Muhammad Ali Center Council of Students open at the beginning of summer. The youth-led group meets twice a month to talk about social justice and nonviolent social change.